but we're giving them information, we're giving health conscious shoppers information, we're giving ample supply of non-GM and we're giving them choice. Health professionals, I'll read a quote from John Boyles, an MD. I used to test for soy allergies all the time, but now that soy is genetically engineered, it is so dangerous that I tell people never to eat, never to eat it, unless it says organic. <clears throat> when Kellogg's realizes that doctors are prescribing to parents not to feed their kids Kellogg's cornflakes because it's GMO. When the food companies realize that doctors are prescribing non-GM diets, it's over. School meals and the parents associated with the schools. School meals are under intense scrutiny because of the incredible epidemic going on with our kids. So they have changes going on. They're making changes. They're in the process of making changes. Now is the perfect time to get them our information so the GMOs are added to the do not eat category. So we have a grassroots program with a 60 page manual and a video called Hidden Dangers in Kids Meals. It's like instant activism. Just add DVD and stir. <laughs> you show it to a group and you say, how many people want to work on a GM free school campaign? The hands go up and we can create that in communities all over the country. Religious groups. Think about it. If the evangelical Christians, for example, believed that GMO meant God move over, <laughs> it's over. Large religious groups do not actually have to circulate the non-GMO shopping guide. They just have to threaten to do so. And GMOs are taken out. So these are the four demographic groups that we are focusing on. And now I'm going to share with you the tools that we can use. I saw the number of hands go up in terms of who wants to work on this. So you're all recruited. All right? So here's the, here's the game plan. Here's what we got. We've got a ton of stuff on our website, responsibletechnology.org. You, you have a PowerPoint presentation there, fully scripted. All these points, but these aren't these beautiful PowerPoints? My wife did these. She's here. Let's give her a hand. Where are you? I don't see her, but oh, yeah, there she is. So we have a PowerPoint fully scripted on our site. We have Oh, we have the Hidden Dangers in Kids Meals video. We have a m movie on, uh, called Your Milk on Drugs, Just Say No. Um, things for doctors. We have about 40 articles that you can take and put on your own website and distribute. We have a monthly e-newsletter. Now, I got to tell you about this new video. I got a call a few years ago from a woman in France who turned out I didn't know it. She was an award-winning author and filmmaker. And she was doing a, a film on Monsanto. And I had had, I think by that time, 13 film crews come to my little town in Iowa. And I've been interviewed many, a dozen or two times elsewhere. And so I was very comfortable talking to filmmakers and giving them the whole background about who to interview and what the angles were. She knew it all. And she was traveling all over the world to people I had written about. She had gone over my book meticulously and written notes and, gotten, and, and followed through with each of these people. So she was incredibly well informed. So I knew that her film was going to be a blockbuster. So when I was in Europe, I went to Paris and looked at the, at the early versions of the film and worked for a year to get distribution rights of the film. And it's now out. It's called The World According to Monsanto. How many people have seen it? It is so devastating. The 30 minutes after seeing this film are like the most motivated someone is in their life to stop GMOs. So as we have a program for retail stores in the natural food industry. They put up the non-GMO education centers. They distribute the non-GMO shopping guides. They host free public showings of the world according to Monsanto. We have publicity materials downloadable on our website. You can do this too. We have handouts, handouts that can convert that energy into effective community action. But if you show this alone and you don't have any discussion afterwards, it can be very depressing. We have a three minute video in here called What We Can Do. It introduces the campaign for healthy eating in America. It introduces the tipping point. I gave a talk in Kansas City 
two weeks ago. And they had shown the world according to Monsanto two weeks before that. And they didn't have any discussion about activism. They didn't convert the energy. They didn't run, run the three-minute video. And someone came up to me before the thing and burst into tears and said, is there any hope? And I said, oh, yes, there's hope. You just watch. So it is a powerful tool, and it can be used to create energy, and it can be done in house parties or public showings. And it came out perfectly in time for the campaign.